day I was reading an interview with Robert De Niro, and he says, they love it. You know, it's like a big reunion, because it's like a gold mine of comedy. You know, somebody was asking him, where did you come up with these scripts? And they said, he said, you know, we just use from our own life experiences. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman, Robert De Niro, Barbara Streisand, Ben Stiller, they get together. You know, Ben Stiller's parents were, were comedians, very famous. They, they get together and they just talk about their life experiences and then the producers and directors go, okay, we're going to have to change some of the stuff around. And then they just get out there and they start having fun when they're shooting the film and they give them plenty of comedy, comedic license. And it's the most bizarre stuff. It's the most bizarre stuff that you would ever think of. And it's when you're watching it as if it's happening to somebody else, it's great comedy. When you're there at the dinner table, <laughs> it's bizarre. It's like, what? What have I done? And even Robert De Niro talking about it, he said, you know, he said, we all have been through this. We, we are in the middle of some kind of scene and we're thinking, how did I get here? What in the world could have ever prompted me to, to get into this? Because it's like when you get married, you know, it's like you, you don't just marry the spouse, you marry the whole families. And the, the hilarious clashes between the families and these these are just the acting out of these crazy beliefs. The families are the acting out of these crazy unconscious beliefs. And to the extent that you get identified with the characters, it is, it's hell. I mean, it's like, it's like a journey, forget Dante's <laughs> journey into hell. This is like the, the journey. And yet, it's, it's a comedy goldmine when you can start to to step back from it. I mean, I've heard that the latest version is like, you know, after 10 years or whatever, you know, it's like he's still at it. He's been still, or is, is still people-pleasing, you know, that character, trying to placate, trying to please the parents, and, and finding he can't do it. It's just, it's killing him. And so that's one of the things we work on all the time is, is flushing into awareness those people-pleasing aspects, and just starting to gain a little bit of perspective that that's how the healing occurs. In fact, I do remember very clearly back in Argentina that when the movie ended, the people left, all left the theater, and I was just feeling such gratitude for that movie. I had laughed so hard, and, and I could just, you know, feel the healing power of the Spirit using that movie. And I looked around and that, that same elderly couple down there, probably they didn't even speak any English, they were just sparkling and twinkling over there, almost like winking at us like, like, wasn't that great? And that's the kind of attitude you have to have with this undoing, you know, because those kind of situations and encounters will just be the acting out of what's still pushed out of awareness. And you do at times feel like you're caught in no man's land, you know, you're just, you're, you're in between, you're in betwixt and in between this transformation, and it doesn't feel stable, it doesn't feel consistent, it doesn't feel like harmonious, it just feels like stirred up, like there's, gonna, there's a great sort going on, and you're right smack dab in the middle of the sort, and that's when you have your Mighty companion, your your partner, <laughs> say, okay, <laughs> here we go, another day of this. <laughs> you know, lock in, lock into purpose, and we'll be ready for whatever, whatever is coming our way. But there is a purpose for it. You know, you, we all know that we've been through some situations where, where we're crying, we feel like we want to pull our hair out when we're going through it, and then we reach a point where we can just really laugh at it. It just starts to get funnier and funnier and funnier. But that's the transcendence. That's the, the being aligned with the spirit. You know, people talk about dysfunctional families and so forth. But, but the definition of coming to this place and, and this time and space situation, you know, just by definition, that's what the ego is. It's the belief that you could leave God and, and find yourself 
you know, in a far, far land that's very, very strange and very, very different than home. And so, of course, that these characters are just acting out these, and they're almost like concretized beliefs, you know, they're, they're a motion picture of beliefs. And, and it is dysfunctional, I mean, that's, that's the way that it starts out. That's, that's the baseline. Dysfunction is the baseline of this whole space and this whole experience. But then as you move forward, you know, you move towards, we could call it holy relationship, where vibrationally you just, you do this inner work, you do more clearing, more clearing, and then you seem to just draw forth more and more witnesses to what's in your heart. And, and it's, you're in progress with that. It's just like, when you go back to meet the parents again, you know, it's this like, wow, these concretized beliefs, you know, like set in stone. Sometimes it feels that way with, with parents, but, but definitely, you know, my story and the parable of David and what Alicia's saying, you know, these are just symbols of it does lighten, it does loosen. You, you do become more and more released, you know, as you go deeper inward and get more in line with purpose. And then it's more and more your, it's what I call like a vibrational family. And, you know, it's, it's not to, uh, not to take it too hard. You know, we've, right before we came down here, Kirsten was going through those experiences, still, with her biological father. When I would come down to the South Pacific, always visiting New Zealand, New Zealand, Red Beach, New Zealand, New Zealand, stopping in, stopping in. There was, there was many, many, many visits. And now, it's, she's back in the, in the region again, and, and those emotions, and that, those thoughts, and those belief patterns are just coming up again, rearing up again. So, you know, you just keep making progress as you keep going along, and just, it's like, stay the course with this, uh, this whole journey. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, I think everybody, <laughs> everyone can relate to it.